Hi there and welcome back. So let's continue with the endocrine system and this is in continuation of the prior video. So now we know where is our pineal gland, pituitary gland, hypothalamus, all these key players and in this video we will focus on the pituitary gland. So as I was mentioning in the previous video, pituitary gland is the master gland working with the hypothalamus and we'll get into the hypothalamus again but pituitary gland is labeled as the master gland because it dominates uh, working with the hypothalamus it controls the thyroid the parathyroid um, the adrenal and the gonads so basically it covers a lot so to summarize we can say that it's a master gland because it controls the metabolism, growth, sexual maturation, reproduction, blood pressure and many other uh, physical functions and process. So you may not have the familiarity but just simply speaking the uh, releases variety of hormones and those hormones are specifically doing certain specific things in our body. Right? So for example, ACTH does uh, production of hormones from the adrenal cortex, um, F FSH does the maturation of ovum, uh, it leads to the production in the female of the estrogen, uh, sperm in the male, human growth hormone, it has the influence of course about the growth of all the tissues. It, the pituitary secretes uh, other hormones like a TSH hormone that in fact activates the thyroid or the parathyroid. Uh, likewise the luteinizing hormone uh, for the gonads in males and females, the prolactin that stimulates uh, that is needed for the uh, female, the secretion of milk in the breast tissue. So pituitary gland releases certain hormones that reaches out to variety of other organs like a thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal, gonads and they in turn release additional hormones working together to run the body. As we now know, and let me show you again that right next to pituitary and hypothalamus they are in our uh, head, in our brain area. So hypothalamus actually is the one who starts the process. So hypothalamus would work with the pituitary gland and they would do variety of things. So not only that they have anatomic relationship working together but they have the functional relationship also and I said about various hormones just to give you a quick idea the TRH hormone, the GRH or the CRH, LH, RH those are the variety of hormones being released that is needed in our body and additionally speaking to more ADH is the antidiuretic and uh, oxytocin that also is being released by the hypothalamus uh, that is needed uh, during the delivery of the child for the smooth muscle of the uterus contraction so an ADH works with the adrenal kidney working together so I did not focus on the names of the hormones realizing that there may not be that much interest <coughs> but think this way that hypothalamus and pituitary gland working together are releasing certain hormones that reaches to the and actually stimulates the thyroid the adrenal the pancreas the ovaries the testicles right so it is just like agents and brokers working with the underwriters 
and ultimately they all work together to serve the customers. And as long as there is a homeostasis, as long as there is stable internal environment, all is well. But if there is any disorder, if there is any disease, then unfortunately you will see approved other than applied for, either rated or postponed or declined due to the disorders or disease. So, and we'll get into the disorders and disease as it relates to the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus uh, in the following uh, video that we will do. But just to touch base on the pineal gland as we, let me show you. So pineal gland is right there with the pituitary and hypothalamus. So just wanted to touch base with you about what pineal gland does. So it releases the melatonin that has the influence on our sleep and wake cycles. Okay. So when there is a malfunction as it relates to that particular organ or the hormone it releases, obviously what happens, the jet lag and the sleep disorder can happen. right? And because we are focusing on endocrine system, but if we have to spell out the pineal gland, it can have a variety of disorders ranging from calcification all the way to cancer. Okay, but that is beyond the scope of this presentation series. So we'll focus when we come again on the disorders as it relates to the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus gland. See you soon. Bye now.